Streaming live across the globe to nerds around the nation. Everything Noob starts now. Hello and welcome to the Everything Noob podcast. I am Vorsak. Lido. Lido what? Awkward silence. Lido awkward silence. <laughs> that is Lido awkward silence. silence. Jemmy, I do I have, to, cool I have to do this part for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. You have to hold my hand, please. I'm not old enough to introduce myself. The only female here is Jemmy, and then Boombody. And I'm Boombody. How that, you doing, everybody? Yes. Total See, cut off. I didn't even need to say it. I said it before. He was ready. He was ready to go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Tonight's topic is stuff that pisses me off. Stuff that pisses off Boombody. <laughs> Uh, that was a lot of stuff. You know what grinds my gears? You know what you grind my guy. Trademark Family Guy. <laughs> the newest Family Guy episode is named after you, Vortec. It's called Space Cadet. Oh my god. Boom. <laughs> I saw that episode, and my wow. favorite part about that episode was when Peter was watching Breaking Bad. It came on the television, and his eyes just got all big, and it said, Breaking Bad is the best show on television. You will tell all your friends that Breaking Bad is the best show on television. Peter's like, I will tell all my friends that Breaking Bad is the best show on television. <laughs> In truth, Breaking Bad is really freaking awesome. I want to see, yeah, I've seen a couple episodes and I want to actually like go from the beginning and watch the whole thing because it looks amazing. Dude gets cancer. Dude's, dude decides to become a, become, become a, a, a... Uh, a, a meth cooker to pay for his per, to pay for his cancer. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, please, yes, please. Well, it's it's what's his name from Malcolm? <laughs> it's the dad Cranston. from Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, I can't think of his name. Yeah, who <laughs> has time to think of names? <laughs> names, silly names. What are those Overrated. So, uh... absolutely nothing. <laughs> Good God, y'all. <laughs> 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 we're we're on at a new time. This is the first uh, Monday podcast we are doing. We are we will be on Mondays from now on, recording live, and the show will be uploaded the following Tuesday. So just so, so wait, next Tuesday? No, this no, Tuesday, no. like tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Why did you Monday. say the following day? You like, had to meaning, mess up with some Tuesday. Just Don't just for general. Just for general. See, like I, every see, Monday. You said that. I thought next Tuesday. As no, in... no, that's yeah. Good point. That's not what I meant. I meant. Just saying. Just saying. Recorded on Mondays, uploaded on Tuesdays. There we go. Yes. So of 2014. If you're ever wanting to watch us live and you haven't been able to before, and Monday is more up to your speed, then join us. Twitch.tv slash enoobs, or you can find all the information at everythingnoob.com. So let's move on to tonight's topic. I will let Jemmy announce tonight's topic as she found it. Oh, um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> NVIDIA just out of nowhere announced they're going to be releasing a handheld gaming device. Out of nowhere. Out of left out field. Out of nowhere. <laughs> like, everybody's like, where did this come from? <laughs> like, there was no hints or leaks or anything. Like, they have a prototype that they've been letting people see, so it's not even, like, oh, years down the line. It's going to be soon. And uh, So, like, you had said... You had said earlier it's supposed to be able to it, what it what it does is it streams games off of your PC mm -hmm. onto this device and then I'm still very uh, confused about the whole thing. I don't know. It, it looks like a it TV. Just... So so basically it's a controller that is also the processing power. So it's basically it's it, it's so it's the next generation of those plug and play arcade games. Remember those plug-and-play arcade games? Oh, I remember those. Yeah, yeah, but now so, it's beaming it to the controller screen, which is, like, attached to the top, and it flips So, wait, it, 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 it doesn't just go to, like, a screen screen? Well, well it's got an no. HDMI port. That... Yeah, it's an yeah, HDMI, HDMI port, HDMI so, port so... so you could probably hook it to your TV and beam it from your PC to your controller and then cable it up to your TV, which, wow. That would be a, a cluster. I see... Well, I'd be okay if you had a game on like Steam, for example, like Binding of Isaac, and you ported it to this thing, and it saved the Binding of Isaac, and you could take it anywhere, internet or not. And then if you wanted to play Binding of Isaac on a TV, you can plop it into a TV. I'm hoping that's you how mean, it works. Like, you mean kind of like what the Xbox uh, portable was going to be? Oh, Xbox? Are you talking about PlayStation Vita? or No, I was talking about the, 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 the Xbox uh, prototype. For their handheld uh, device, I didn't hear that about this. Make. 
Yeah, it was well. It it it, it went. Of course, it got mentioned years or a year or two years ago, and then just kind of fizzled. But it was basically it was going to be you could play your games, um, your Xbox games portably. That's how the Wii thing works. <clears throat> yeah. That's how the Wii tablet works, and I think that's the coolest yeah. thing. That's how handheld should be. They, you should have one game, and it works on different things, so you but can then, take it on the go. But then, really, why do you need... Okay, I, I would understand needing... Okay, wanting it to be mobile, but once it's mobile, then why do you need Why do you need a console? Oh, the mobile thing's for... I th- I'd see that marketed towards children who go out with their families a lot. So, okay, we got to go to the grocery store, take your game, put it on your thing, and let's go. So, you know, you don't have to play it. Like, when I was a kid, I hated playing handhelds because it was a tiny little screen. I wanted to play on my TV. So the coolest thing for me was Pokemon Stadium because you could take that Game Boy cartridge of Pokemon, which was the only game I played at the time, mm-hmm. plug it into your N64, and then I could play my Pokemon game on my TV. And that was... Well, I loved that. Us school kids, when we were kids, <clears throat> we played Tetris, and we were happy well, about it. The we, thing I don't understand... Liked it. And we liked this it. Is- this is made by NVIDIA, which makes, obviously, the greatest graphic cards in the world. Oh, anyway. <laughs> you're going to start a flame war. Not here. I anyway. don't mean that flame war. They're the greatest, <laughs> greatest cards, period. No, I, I period. agree, but somebody's going to be mad. I know. Somebody's somebody's I think you take their mad. flames and shove them. <laughs> take their ATI card and... But a- 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 ACI has, has a time and place right next to AMDs. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when 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 you uh, when you look at this this site that you sent me to, it, it's it's Nvidia. Yeah. Nvidia, I, I, I'm I haven't read it. I haven't had time to really read it, but I'm thinking that this device would have the Nvidia hardware in it somehow. So if you were to port it from your PC, you're not using the Nvidia's hardware you're using your PC's hardware and it's just porting onto a screen on your little so I, I, I'm thinking that this is more of a standalone I'm thinking somehow you're able to install these games onto it somehow See, that wouldn't make sense because why would you have your games on a computer you can only play them in your house obviously because the connection has to come from somewhere and then what are you gonna do you're gonna play it on your couch instead of your that's stupid it has well, not... to have some yeah, kind of portability to it there might be a um third-party software that you install on your computer that kind of images the game down onto your controller or handheld device, and then you can kind of take it on the go, because there is the micro SD slot, so there is going to be some kind of memory storage on it. Yeah, I, I would think So maybe think you can that... take it on the go. Yeah, and then uh, you just plug your not, TV into but it's it. Not a, it's, it's, yeah, from what I'm looking at, it's it's got to be... Gotta be what? Yeah. Cause you can do that now. There's a thing called Caney, which is what I was looking up before we started. It's called Caney. It's an app that you put on your uh, your Android device, whether it be a phone or the the iPad, the iPad, the, the phone or or a, or a tablet, and then you're able to actually set up your computer so it's. It's it's on the go. It's like that's your cloud environment is your computer, and you're able to play games on your Android device from anywhere. You can go in the doctor's office and sit there and link up to your computer and start playing games on your Android device. What's that called? Like wow, it's called Kaney. How do you spell that? K a i n y. And it's it's really a cool technology. I think it's in beta right now, and uh, and this is something that I can see this this work. But for NVIDIA to come out with something similar to that doesn't make sense to me because NVIDIA has always been good at making hardware to run these games. So why would it make a device that would link up to really any computer with even just a, a, a lousy graphics card and then port a game over into this device so that you can view it? Basically, it's like a viewer. Because that's what the Android device... I mean, you're, you're, you're not using the graphics capability of your Android device. You're using a graphics capability and it's just porting the visuals. And I guess it's right like now TV. there's Yeah, it's just it's just taking take you know, and you're able to control it because you're linked to their program uh, on your computer and you're able to control it with the, the touch screens. And so you're able to, you know, use the touch screens as your as your um, your gamepad. I would trip out if I was seeing someone play their uh the World of Warcraft game 
in a doctor's there's or a dentist's video. office. There's a video. There's actually on I the Caney site. I would have to. I would have to make on the connection. On the Caney site, there's a video of somebody do, doing that very thing. You take your shame. You take your shame. On their freaking phone. <laughs> on their freaking phone, they are playing World of Warcraft. What do you see the dentist for? <laughs> there's no hope for it's, them teeth. <laughs> here. Get out of here. It's a damn Get World of Warcraft. Here. It can, yeah, yeah it's in the doctor's office here? playing World of Warcraft. Get your orc teeth back home. There's a link. There's a link for it. <coughs> I, I can't but say much. A... I think they, this weekend I'm going to start playing um, Secret World. I will so be linking in... this stuff in the show notes just so everyone knows. Anyone who's listening, we started making show notes on everythingnoob.com. So anything you hear, hear about on the podcast, if you hear us say, hey, we're linking to this, and you're sitting there like, I'm listening in a car, visit everythingnoob.com. All the show notes have the links. Sorry. There you go. Go on. So, and if you're listening into a car, please clap along. I was going to say, Nvidia for Nvidia to make something like this doesn't make sense. It makes more sense if you were to able to store the games in the device and play them like you would anything else on the little screen, or you can actually plug it into a TV and you can play your PC games right on this Nvidia device. Since it's Nvidia, it would obviously be PC. So. You wouldn't have to, you know, it's not for Xbox games or PlayStation games. I would think it would be for, you know, your normal PC games. Um, kind of like the, the Steam, what they're doing with their big picture thing. Which, you know, I, I don't know how that's... Working. I like the big it's, picture. I think, yeah. I think it's cool. I have, I, have, I have not clicked on it and I refuse to click on it. <laughs> All it does, it's exact, It's just Steam with a new layout. And the layout it looks like an Xbox click it, layout. Yeah, a little bit. As soon as you click it, it just you can turn on your controller that whatever controller you have, it doesn't have to be anything specific, and you can just do everything you do on Steam with a controller. That's all it does. And I think that's cool because I'm I'm still considering if I'm going to buy the new console generations when they come out, and I talked about this last week. That all the games I've been playing, aside from Halo and maybe a couple PlayStation titles, are all on PC, and I don't see a need to buy the new consoles because they're so expensive. And just to play the new Halo, I don't know if I can justify paying five hundred, six hundred dollars for a whole console to play one game. So the big picture is yeah. kind of cool because I don't always want to sit in this crappy chair at my computer. When and find... they 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 eventually get around to putting them on PC, don't they? They used to, and they stopped doing it because I know like Halo something. like three was right. Halo two. And Microsoft's not doing it anymore. But three, four, three, yeah, we maybe we will see Halo Four on PC. Is that possible? I mean, it is because I mean, not, it's not impossible. I mean, the the only reason the games are not on all, not not pan all consoles, is to to make you choose that and make that decision of if I want to play it, I have to buy that console. Yeah, I don't believe in that because I'm a PC gamer number one, and it, it's just it. To, to me, it's just silly for for them to to, to fear, especially like Microsoft. So I'm like, all okay, right, Microsoft, are, are we not pull, are we not already bought your your you know we are we're already we're already using your operating system, you know we already you know are hassled by all your all your bullshit. Just come on and just let us play all your games on one thing. It was like Origin, like Origin didn't have to do didn't have to make the big fuss that they did and pull games from Steam. Oh, and they are them. they are talking to they are thinking about pulling more games from Steam. Wow! I I hate <clears throat> Origin. I it's refuse to get Origin. I I refuse. Uh, and there's I need it for certain things. I I'm not. There's I just a, don't yeah, want it. Sims, Sims. One game. I have it for Battlefield. Sim City. When the new Sim City comes out, I'm boned. <laughs> I had it yeah, for well, I had it for Star Wars. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sims. Maybe 3 Battlefield uses but. it. Um. I hate it because. I heard so many weird things about Origin it's, too. It's not. It's not. It's, it's exactly it's, okay. It's it's not. It's not bad to say that it's 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 an inferior layout and user user control of of Steam. But they're the same yeah, thing. Is. They're the they same are, thing. It's just now we got fifty billion. No, no, different... come on, Vortag. You, <laughs> no, no, Jimmy. <laughs> Uh-uh. Yeah, no, yeah. they are not the same because Origin doesn't work. I have to reinstall Battlefield 3 every time I go to play it because Origin says I don't have it installed even though it is. And then I have to get a rig it just for it to install because it'll be like, okay, it's ready to install, 99%. Oh, sorry, corrupt. And then you have to like triple click it or something and it'll just go. 
Have you have you gone to forums to see what's going yes. on? Yes. That's and... how I found the solution to actually get it to work. And like or staff hard. are like, we just don't we just you'll just have to wait until the next update is their solution. Okay, like, well that's not acceptable. Well no, that's not acceptable. And you should be able to go on and, and, and either talk with their text with their tech support or do whatever you decide to do to get it to work. But I mean, and, and I say it works and it's the same thing because for, you know, whatever percent, high percentage of people that it works for, you know, like, okay, um, a game comes out. What, what game came out recently that everyone had big problems with? Hmm. Uh, and I'm talking major problems. Oh, um, War Z. Dead Island. Oh, Dead Island. I didn't know that. War Z, Dead Island. Well, well I say Dead Island because not all of us have played War Z. I don't play War but, Z. Um, I have it. But I have it. But, it, but Dead Island, you know, we, we can all know that, that it was full of glitches, full of bugs and whatnot. I played it, didn't have a problem. To this day, I've not had, I've had a few glitches, but they're graphic glitches inside the game, not running problems or whatnot. And I mean, how many people did you hear about that having problems? I mean, it's, when, when, when you say it works, in theory, it works and does the same thing as Steam at a lesser quality of, of a layout. It doesn't have as good of a layout. It doesn't have as good of, of, of a UI, in my opinion. And it's it's populated by buy all this because, you know, we want you to buy it. Whereas Steam is, here's your new games. Here's games your friends have sent. But, I mean, here's a list of fucking games. We're not going to say buy this, buy this, buy this. Here's the deals. But... Um, but it's it's an inferior, it's, it, in my opinion, it's an inferior version of Steam. I agree with you. I then again, I'm I just don't want to use it because I don't want two different Steams. You know, we we have Steam. No, I, I agree. I agree. I just don't. I don't want to be associated with Origin. I have had Sims for years without any Origin problems, and as soon as I go to update it, now there's this Origin logo. I'm like, what the hell is this? I don't want more crap on my computer. And then I, I am going to try out the the razor thing pretty soon and let you know how that works. Razor, because uh, Razor has a program that uh, will. I don't know how many. I, I I'm a prolific Razor user. I have Razor keyboard, Razor mouse, um, Razor keep uh, pads and rest and everything. But basically, due to the fact that you can macro keys and whatnot and change profiles of on four year different games. Um, there's basically a Steam-like program that they're putting out that'll optimize your game running and all that kind of whatnot, and the profiles for your for your input devices all running on one program instead of Steam and and all your other stuff. Oh. And it's supposed to be a performance enhancer, which is always performance enhancing is always nice. Yeah, yeah. I have to look into that. Yeah, let me know how that goes because I'm. Uh, and the next couple uh, days I play on Dota when well, I'm not knitting. Well, Steam lets you... <laughs> he literally is knitting, guys. I'm knitting right now. <laughs> Steam lets you... I know, just the way you said that was funny. Steam lets you put non-Steam <laughs> games in its library, which I, I like. I don't use that feature, but it's cool because I, my, my friend Excel, he'll be playing Minecraft, and it'll pop up on Steam like any other game. It'll say, uh, Excelsior is playing Minecraft. And but if like, oh, Steam cool. is offline, doesn't it kick it to where you can't play it? Really? I no. want to say. It's on are your you computer. Sure? I mean, you got to be logged in. You don't have to be logged into Steam. To I've play never tried it. Games I... on your Steam library. No. no, it just like it used to be. It used no. to be you had to. Yeah, I did that a long time ago with Minecraft, and I. Oh, I, I, before Minecraft. Minecraft. I mean, we're talking. I'm talking like three years ago, four years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are you Minecraft sure? Was not four years ago. Oh, well, I mean, early, early Minecraft, I had put it under my Steam. And, like, the only way I could get it to show up is if I launched it through Steam. But, like, I could... To show up, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, it just all it does is sense that you've launched the EXE. Yeah, exactly. It just shows that you're... That's I don't know. I like, to keep some games, I like to keep some games off Steam because, number one... I don't like to run Steam all the time because, you know, if I'm not playing the Steam game, I don't like running Steam. And number two, sometimes I just don't want to be known. True. Got to hide on the I wonder sometimes. what games he's playing. <laughs> Leisure Sweet Larry. <laughs> Leisure, Leisure Sweet, Sweet Larry. Larry. <laughs> Red Light <laughs> District. The Korean edition. <laughs> the Korean. Leisure Sweet Larry. 
the with cream. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, oh, like LOL and um and whatnot. Diablo three. I finally hit sixty on Diablo three. Woo! Oh nice. really? What what character class? Demon Hunter, of course. Oh. That's a, that's like my favorite class in that game. I dude, want a Demon Hunter now. Dude, like they get we need all play. Yes. Oh, dude, my DPS went okay. So okay, I was fifty nine, right? Mm-hmm. And I wrote down all these numbers for it to be, so I could like reference them later. Uh, I'd have to reinstall it. <laughs> my Typical. damage was my damage was 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 twenty one k. Now it's sixty k. Jeez. Let me guess, you were wearing crap gear too. I was wearing shit gear. No, but, like at sixty, um, you should be able to easily push two hundred k on Demon Hunter. I don't know. I think it's at like. 60k now. No, yeah, not, I know. Like, I'm not in great gear, but I basically my buddy my buddy logs on. He's like, "Oh, let's see what you got. Oh, here's some extra crap I have." And then I'm like, "He's like, here, here's here, here here's some money to go on the auction house." He gave me a million um a million gold, and basically I turned that million gold into like a massive jump in my uh in my DPS. Yeah, well, that's pretty much any character class at level 60. You can just yeah. I gotta figure out what, what crazy like, jump gear DPS. is. I need to figure out the best gear so I can start working towards it. Did you manage to get any of the prestige levels? Uh, I have one prestige level. All right. Extra five gold find and magic find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more grinding on Diablo 3, which I really didn't want to do. Well, <laughs> gotta love Grindfest games. I know. But, uh, I mean, it's something because, you know, they're fun to play and it gives me a break from lull. I, did you, were you one of the people who liked Torchlight 2, Boombody? I like Torchlight 2. Okay. Someone keeps saying they're going to call me whenever people are going to play Torchlight 2. They never call me, you know. Oh, <laughs> called out. I know. Well, I haven't played in a while, though. Were like, you're like, oh, we play every day. I'll call you. We'll play. Never hear. Yeah, we, we even picked I up a while. My Steam. I, I watch my Steam every every now and again to be like, is he logging on to play a fucking Torchlight and not calling me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even turn in. I haven't turned on Steam in a while. I've been playing Worm Online. I just played it for the first oh. time like yesterday, for real. I Torchlight two. Playing Plant yeah. Side yesterday. What is it? Plant Side two. Oh. Yeah, I've got uh, that too. Online shooters. Yeah, there you go. We can get in there and, and start you kicking some butt. You know that we need to start getting geared up because there's a war coming. A Tobuscus versus C Nanners versus Biscuit War. Coming. No. Yeah. They're they're That's each taking they're each taking one of the, they're each going to take one of the factions and ooh cookies. Um, they're each taking one of the factions and uh, when is this supposed to happen? I don't know. It's on the the main page. <sighs> Huh. Yeah, yeah. I got it. I've got it installed. I haven't. I've almost uninstalled it the other day, mm-hmm. but now I'm glad I didn't. Okay, plan. I almost two. uninstalled it. God, story of Leo's yeah, life. Everyone should, everyone see, I got a, I got a hard drive right here that that uh, somebody gave me. It's 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 got an operating system on it and everything, but it's frozen because it's got uh, Windows Ooh. is bad. Uh, there, there's probably some really serious viruses and stuff on there. Oh, wow. And when I slapped, slapped it in this computer, it, it failed to boot from my original drive. You need and a boot disk. And this is a secondary. And this is a secondary. Oh, So yeah, okay. I need to get on here and reformat this and, and fix the bad sectors and stuff like that on here. And you it's a 500 able, gigabyte hard should, drive. You, uh, how many gig? 500 gigabytes, so I could slap yeah. that in there, put nice. all my games from Steam on there. I started just, downloading all my games on my on my secondary wait, drive. Wait, we'll have a day where we don't have to hear Leo say, "Hold on, I need to reinstall the game." Yeah, yeah. cause see, I've got this, but you can't. It's a USB. You plug it in USB. It's one of those oh, you know hard drives. Not it's not worth it. And you can't install games on it. It's just for storage. So, yeah. that, you know, I, that kind of sucks and. Yeah, I started putting. <clears> but I got this. This will uh, slap right in there. I've got a port on my on my laptop for this, and it's an additional 500 gigabytes that I can put all my games on, and it'd be great. I can install them all. And when somebody says, "Hey, let's go play this," okay, I got it. <laughs> you know, it's there. 
Nice. Or you so, do I got like ninety and download in fifteen minutes. I got like ninety games on Steam, something like that. Oh, that's yeah, a lot of like games. A bunch of uh, humble bundles, a bunch of all kinds of stuff. Shit, you never play. <sighs> it's, it's, it's stuff I never played. Exactly. Well, who wants to get into the halftime? Halftime show. The halftime. Halftime. What? I'm sorry. It was get, a trombone. Get out. That did not sound like a trombone. That no. Well, I'm sorry. Now My I feel like you should wear a helmet. Impersonation is a little stuff rusty. Put them. Um, Think someone shoved a bag of dicks into that trombone? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Oh. All right. So I have a short one and a longer one. Oh, you, oh so you were in it ready. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's get into halftime. This is where we do Mad Libs. Tis fun. Halftime. Mad Libs. All right. So, I need an adjective. Who's going first? I don't know. That's, just, that's for you to decide amongst yourselves. I'll just do it. Okay. Golden. Golden. An Italian person's name. <laughs> That's not a name. Could be. <laughs> That'd be sad. Um, I'll go with. Uh, I'll go with uh, Pierre. Isn't that French? Isn't that French. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Don't be racist. He's an Italian named Pierre. Go with it. <laughs> what about Mario? <laughs> Too cliche. Occupation. Oh, <laughs> Occupation. Yes. Carpet cleaner. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that right now. A it's verb ending in ing. <laughs> why is she laughing? I'm falling. Falling. Planet plural. Planet plural. How do you have a plural of a planet? Venuses. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Uranuses. <laughs> Might as well make it a good one, right? All right. Might as well. Huh? Adjective. Adjective. Plant. Uh, I'm sorry. Not planet. Oh, I'm... sorry. <laughs> Not enough coffee. Oh, That's a big difference. That is a big difference. It, it would still work, I bet. Anyway. It still work, Uranus. Uh, all right. Plants. We'll go with. Um... Uh, Venus flytraps. <laughs> Best of both worlds. <laughs> All right, adjective. An adjective. Um, uh, adjective. Um, Just look around. Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> okay, noun plural. Uh, mice. Mice. Noun. Plural. Now, not plural? Just noun. So, a person, place, or thing? A person, place, or a thing. Hooker. Hook. <laughs> Name a person Someone's in got, room. Someone's got a class. This person class in room. room? Jammy. Jammy. <laughs> All right. This one's called Popular Video Game. Uh -oh. Okay. I can get behind it, that. I thought it worked. All right, Golden Pierre Brothers is a popular video game. Now I see why they wanted Italian. Golden Pierre Brothers is a popular video game where you can control a carpet cleaner as he runs through levels, falling on enemies, and eating Venus flytraps to get a <laughs> fluffy fire flowers so that he can throw mice at enemies. He does all this to save the hooker from the evil Jemmy. <laughs> that was a good one. You can have that. That one yeah. was really good. That, that one, I have to say, was very good. Oh, man. To save the hooker <laughs> from the evil Jemmy. Why you gotta be taking the hookers away, Jimmy? Because <laughs> you're addicted. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, this one's a little bit longer. Um, I need a time span. Uh, Wait, the Renaissance. What? No, a span of time, like... like Four, four hours? Years. Four years, oh. for example. Oh. Uh, 2,000 years. Oh, my God. Okay. 2,000 <laughs> years. I need a noun. Is that me? Yep. Yes. And then two verbs, if you guys want to start thinking. Um, a boulder. 
Shoulder. Okay, I need a verb. Slap. Slap. And another verb. Mm, kiss. Kiss. Noun, plural, or singular. Up noun, plural, or singular? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then so uh, boobs. <laughs> boobs. Wow. Another noun. <laughs> Way to raise the bar or lower it. Pasty. <laughs> or both. Or pasty. Noun, pasty? Yeah. Wow. Okay, a verb ending in ing. Afford one. <laughs> what? A noun ending in ing, or a verb ending in ing. Dazzling. <laughs> Dazzling. An occupation. Hooker. <laughs> no, I wouldn't We're use stuck hooker. on those hookers tonight. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, it's Bumani instead of hooker. Um, I'll have I to say... Um, Um, mm. Cook. Cook. A noun and another noun. <laughs> Soda fountain. Soda fountain. Another Glory noun. hole. Glory hole. Wow. <laughs> Famous person. Famous person. Oh, God. Why do I always get this one? Because I always you mess always, it up. You always ball it up. Oh man! A on, famous man. person. Come on, Liam no, 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 Come on, go on. Fam- who's I'm famous? Everyone's famous. Lots famous. of people are famous, you know. Stephen Colbert. Uh, anybody? Everyone somebody. relevant is famous. Walken. I mean, come on. Oh yeah, we could use. Yeah, let's do it. Christopher Walken. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Adjective. <laughs> Laughing. No, I'm sorry. Just thinking about Christopher Walken. You know, <laughs> he does crazy. glorious things. It's crazy, it's crazy, you know how wonderful that man is. <laughs> he's just he's so congenial. Tiny. Does he not do the best freaking impression of Christopher Walken? I need a verb. <clears throat> Talking. <laughs> I need a noun. A noun. Oh god. Why is it now and it's freaking um um big toe. <laughs> okay. I need a noun plural. Skulls. Skulls. <laughs> I need an adjective. Secretive. Secretive. <laughs> Okay, I need skulls? a noun plural. Secret noun skulls. plural. Um, oh. Balls. 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 I, oh, so original. I need a verb. <laughs> it's plural, isn't it? I was talking about baseballs. A verb? Flex. Flex. Position. Preposition. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! What? Preposition. Uh, you just messed up his needle point. You mean a, pre- you mean a preposition? Uh, oh, um, a preposition. Um, into. Into. I need a verb. A verb. Verb. Uh, climb. Climb. Adjective. Wow, why don't we get all the adjectives? It's so stupid. It's stupid. Be stupid. Sloppy. Oh, Sloppy. Whoa. I need a noun. Oh, we didn't have to go. We didn't have to low blow that one. Um, <laughs> noun. Noun. Turd then a verb, burger. then an adjective. Turd burger. Turd. <laughs> Turd burger. <laughs> okay, a verb. There's nothing wrong. Nothing against the rules of making up nouns. <laughs> I guess that's true. Turds and burgers are nouns, and you can have a burger full of turds, I suppose. <laughs> burger made out of turds. Yeah. It's one of my favorite insults, turd burger. It's like a shit sandwich almost. <laughs> it's a little more classy than a shit sandwich, if you think about it. Because you had to cook it. 
Yeah, yes. it's, it's a shit sandwich, but it's grilled with cheese and bacon. Ooh. <laughs> now I'm tempted. A little bit better than a shit sandwich. A little bit. Anyway. <laughs> verb. A verb. Yes. Um. Poop. Poop. <laughs> Adjective, so and then we're done. Lead, You're talking about turd burgers, I might so as well, right? Lead, you so Gassy. <laughs> Gassy. Wow. There you go. Let's get it all out. All right. Yep, we're going to get it all out. Diarrhea was the only thing we were missing out of that one. This one's called A Day in the Life of a College Student. <laughs> oh, no. All right, here we go. Every 2,000 years, I wake up and get off my boulder. I don't always have time to slap a shower but I always make sure to kiss my hair. Once that's done, I get some <laughs> boobs and then go off to my first pasty. I often get caught dazzling in class. No one likes it when the cook gives a surprise soda fountain. <laughs> what? Okay. My second class is glory hole theory. Doc... <laughs> Welcome, America. <laughs> Glory hole theory. That's something new that Obama's putting in schools. Okay. <laughs> Glory hole theory. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Doctor Christopher Walken is incredibly tiny, but I never, but I never talking or I never talk to her because of her thick big toe. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I, have to, I, I, want, I want to understand this for even even funnier reasons. Does Dr. Grister Walken teach Glory Hole 101? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, you go into the abandoned restroom, you find a stall, and you cut a hole, and you put your penis through the hole. It's crazy. Oh. No. It's crazy. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, continue. continue. <laughs> All right. Her s okay. So <gasps> you don't want to talk to her because her because of her thick big toe. Her skulls, however, are really secretive. After lunch, I have no more balls, and I'm free to flex into my friends. Before I before I go to bed, I climb a, a little bit. Sloppy turd burger poop gassy. <laughs> well, so I took the last words and threw them in there. That's true to them. To <laughs> Sloppy turd burger poop gassy. <laughs> that is, that's the perfect ending. Perfect ending. Oh, oh my god. Come on, it's glory all there. We don't know. Uh, glory hole theory. <laughs> wow. I got out of control. I got way out of control. Oh, it hurts. That was, bad. That was one of the best ones yet. <laughs> Oh man! Oh. I thought I thought no, we did pretty good with that video game one, and no. that, that one that one no. top. Doctor Christopher Walken teaching glory hole theory. We win. Glory <laughs> hole. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Where did you go from that? Like... I don't I don't know. I honestly have no idea where you go from that. So so um, I got Dark Souls for Christmas from someone. Um, that game is rage-inducing. Rage-inducing? Oh, I haven't even installed I got it, too. I haven't even installed it Don't yet. Don't install it. You won't Actually, win. You won't win. <laughs> you, no one can win that It game. was resent to me? I'm not sure how that happened. I don't happened. know what happened, because I, I sent it to you, and you had accepted it, but then it was still in my inventory. It happens from time to time. So It happened to me with Dead Island. It happened to me with um, hmm. Borderlands. That happened to me with... It happens about one every like forty or fifty <clears throat> games. Wow! I'll I've buy never one. even encountered that before. I buy I wonder it and if it... send it, and I, I have an extra copy, and then I, you send that copy, and they get it too. Hmm. It's true. So he has another one to send. I think technically you should have two. Now. <laughs> send it to over you hate the <clears throat> One's in my games library, and then one I have in, in yeah, inventory. I'll have to check. Yeah, you have That's to see weird. if that duplicate. That'd be awesome. Then you can send it to someone. You can yeah. re-gift it. Yeah. Dead Island duplicated for me. That was pretty crazy. 
Um, no, that game un- until I figure out how to play with how to play with people. I don't think I'm, ever, I'm gonna touch it again because it is seriously rage inducing. I <laughs> play it on a controller, which is like the easiest and best way to play it, and it's just it's it's so what, difficult. What is it about? I've never even. It's an RPG. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's an RPG. It's really hard too. You you can like make your character either like a fighter, or a knight, or a pyromancer, or a thief, or an assassin. Um. Like nine classes to choose from, and or like a cleric or whatever, and that that denotes what what you're able to wear and stuff, and some of your abilities. But literally, it's like it's it's so hard. Angry. There's some puzzles in there. Angry Koreans yeah. made that game. <laughs> Angry Koreans. <laughs> I actually just thought of something. Would it be cool since like Steam is supporting controllers now? Wouldn't it be cool if there was... And I bet watch, you're going to be like, oh, that exists. I think it'd be cool if you could tell Steam... That exists. I'm using an Xbox controller. And everything the game... Because, you know, all games are formatted for all... Like Skyrim, for example, plays on Xbox and PlayStation and PC. So if I was using an Xbox controller on my PC, I think I, like it'd be nice to click that. And, and then everything will automatically work as if I'm using it as an Xbox. You know, see what I mean? It, it, it is. It's a settings it's settings option. There is a setting option for that? On is most it, games that are controller compatible. You you select yeah. Xbox. It's like controller. <clears throat> um like my mine is uh Well a, okay, a, here, I'll be Logitech more specific. gamepad you and it won't to work on Xbox Steam. You're on a PC. <laughs> and and to be honest I guess you could use I don't I guess a, P, a PS3 has the same amount of buttons, but I don't think it does. Well, no, no, no. Here I'll be specific. Okay, so let's say you have an Xbox controller and it just works with Skyrim, no, no questions asked. But That's it doesn't it say push the X button to do this. It says push yes, like it's... button two or something weird. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I, I use my Xbox controller with Skyrim all the time. I've never. Yeah. T- I don't have Skyrim on buttons. PC. I'm just using that as an example. Oh, no, 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 it does. For the X, it, it swaps everything. Yeah. But it does it have a little thing, like, you know when it's the giving you a tutorial? Yeah. 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 Yes. It, it, it switches yeah. over to Xbox. Oh, okay. Yeah, it shows you the little Xbox button icons. Really? Yes. We have the technology. Yes. Yeah, it's been there for a long time. I had no idea. We have the technology. We can Woo! rebuild him. <laughs> oh, that's old stuff well, right there. there. <laughs> I, I it really because... has. It's been around, it's been around for... Because for, for, there have been games before Skyrim that were... That were um, Controller compatible, um, and any controller compatible game. I haven't come across a controller compatible game that I know of, except for some of the really bad, like cheap games that even though you put in a controller, still give you like left click, right click, and shit. Um, most good games, though, when you plug in a controller and it sees the controller and goes to controller, it t- it switches all the all the menus over to uh, controller based. Okay. So yeah, it's been that way for it's been that way for at least two years. Okay, cool. I never knew that. I didn't have Skyrim or anything on PC. I, I was asking because I'm thinking about getting it for PC. If I don't get this HD PVR business to work, I want to. I wanted to stream it forever. So. Yeah. You and every other twelve year old. Every other twelve. <laughs> I love. What? I mean, don't. We're not friends anymore, Brody. Uh huh. Oh. I didn't hear what you said. Not that. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> You're I'm not like 12. <laughs> well, you act like it. Ooh. <laughs> okay. See how it is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you just keep knitting that scarf. Damn right, I'm knitting my scarf. Because you know what? After all you passages are gone at the end of the night, my scarf will keep me warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you uh, need a scarf? You have a beard! Yeah. Yeah, but the sides of my neck don't have beard. Grow some. <laughs> grow some. Grow some side neck. Grow some beard. side <laughs> neck beard. It's, it doesn't. It happen. would be quite grossome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's grossome. Sweet side neck beard, bro. <laughs> I'm not Starburns for Christ's sake. That'd be gross. <sighs> Ew. 
Oh, I love you guys, but 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 no, I mean, I like watching Sky. Like Skyrim is one of the few things I do like watching because you find some really random cool shit that you didn't find when you were playing. So true. There's so much to Skyrim you could play it for a while. I didn't ever wanted to you make a series you know, about it. Is, is I've been playing. I've been playing right, and I go to like go fight one of the guys in the main storyline, and I can't beat him. I can't. He's too powerful, and I don't know what it is, but like he's too strong and like shit glitches out like whenever like even if i do beat him shit glitches out and it doesn't work right it pisses me off i haven't like used any cheats or anything it's just like i've oh, i thought there was a triumphant ending to that story like but i watched someone on twitch and they showed me how but you no. didn't say that no. wow no, i did because literally he's really powerful like it's like it's like halfway through the main storyline you go to fight I mean, if you haven't played it this far Sorry, um, but you go fight what's his name, um, the bad dragon guy. What's his name? I, I haven't played it. So I can't I'm, remember. I'm, I'm looking at Jimmy because I figured Jimmy would know. I don't. I can't remember all the Dovahkin names. Sorry. No, it's the bad guy. It's not Parthenax, but the bad guy. Anyway, you're up in the throat of the world. He shows up, and 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 you have Dragon Rend. All doing for. That how you say? All doing. All all doing. A L D U I N. All <laughs> It might be Alduin. Um, but anyway, he shows up and, like, I, can't, I just can't beat him. Like, I have, like, a kick-ass bow and, and like, all kind of cool spells and shit. And nothing works. Dra full dragon armor and full, like, like exquisite dragon armor and all kind of stuff. Just can't beat him. That's <laughs> like in Deuce X. There's this part in the Deuce X game that I just, I rage quit and uninstalled it. Are you sure there's really? not like a rope above <sighs> that you need to burn to it. drop the chandelier <laughs> or something? Like, I want you know. To but see, with but Skyrim wait, though, it's which, so which wide boss, open, which, you could just skip the it, boss. Was it the, was it the first boss you rage quit on? It was the one where you go into this room and you're stuck with a bunch of barrels and stuff around. You, and you rage quit on the uh, first boss, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you can't go any further until you beat him. So yeah, I kept going in him. there and kept going in there and kept going in there. You can't go any further in the game. You beat him. You can't get out of there. You're stuck you there in him. this hallway. Why did you beat him? Huh? Why did you to, beat him? You have to burn the rope, man. I can't. I couldn't beat him. Why you could you? Why could you pick up a barrel and throw it at him, and then he chokes in the gas, and you then shoot him or continuously throw explosive barrels at him? Yeah, that's what you do. You throw the explosive barrels at him. Or the and gas he just he hits me like one or two times. I'm gone. That's if, it. If Boom. you throw the gas barrel, he doesn't over. attack you. He just sits there and coughs. And you're able to shoot Got him it? a few times, and then you throw another gas barrel. That's how you win. Just keep throwing barrels. Uh, okay, well, goddamn I'll have to... Donkey Kong. <laughs> I'm gonna install it right now. <laughs> oh my god. Deus Ex is awesome. Just wait till you get to the next boss. Just yeah, call him, it's just. Has a... him. Call him it's him. just. It's just hard. It's it's like it, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. I, I, agree, I like not linear easy. games. I like linear games that are not and, so hard, so that I can, can get beat through him, the next story. And you can beat him without shooting, because like uh, if you do nothing but like throw the gas barrels, he eventually dies from choking. And there's like really? a for that. Yeah, I mean, there's some weird. Well, there's like the achievement for not killing anyone in the game. How do you? Oh yeah, because you you go stealth mode. Yeah. Well, you go stealth mode, but there's still like people you need to kill. That's like Hitman. So how oh. Are you around killing those people, you have to kill. Yeah, the, I, I think it doesn't apply for bosses, but it literally oh. will apply for everyone else. Don't kill anyone, you get an achievement. That's or similar to, to Hitman. Ever. A little bit. You get yeah. you, you get achievements for only doing it in the suit and not putting on a disguise or yeah or putting on all the disguises. Like, the, the, the two hard ones for Deus Ex were were don't kill anyone and don't set off any alarm ever. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I never yeah, played that's this game hard. Right. Gross. And then there's a there was some there was one for slicing too, like for hacking, like always get every hacking first attempt or something. That wouldn't be too mm. bad. Mm, yeah, until until like until you get to like the police station. I think was the first one. And I found a really hard one. Hmm. Yeah, I think I died I've, once. I've never played this game. <laughs> You should. It's fun. It's good. It's fun. Leader doesn't it's like it though. No, I just didn't like that part, and it pissed me off. And I said, "Yeah, I well, basically, the checkpoint was right stuck there, there at the beginning of the boss. Yeah, the checkpoint is like yeah, and you're locked in there for the boss, and you can't get out. You're stuck in a in a dungeon, 
But basically, you're stuck in front of a dungeon. You have nothing, nothing to get or grab. All you get to do is yeah. go fight the boss. Exactly. You, walk down a hallway you can't and go, fight go the any boss. further. Yeah, and you can't go any further. You just throw. You can't barrels. go back. Run you around. Can't go any further from. I say yeah. Run around through barrels. Anyway, so yeah, that was I'm the game. I'm knitting. And you're knitting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a horse. I'm... <laughs> oh, Very tiny gosh. scarf. I don't know. It goes from here all the way around. It's gonna be kind it's of. It's a scarf for a kitten. Actually, it's gonna be my grandmother's scarf, and then I'm gonna use one that's the whole size of this, and I'm gonna make me a Doctor Who scarf. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor what? <laughs> Doctor Who. Doctor Who. <laughs> exactly. That's another show that everyone keeps talking about as much as Breaking Bad. Oh yeah. What about Sons of Anarchy? Have you heard about that? Uh, I've heard of it, but I could care less about it. Sons of Anarchy is pretty badass. It's about a biker gang, man. Yeah. Oh, gross so up, watch a man one, show. Yes. Gross up, watch a man show. Man show. You can knit while you're watching it. <laughs> you can knit <laughs> while you're watching it. It's got, it's, got yeah. it's, it's, it's actually a pretty good show. It's, it's got some, it's, it's, it's not just like, we're biker gang people. I mean, they're, they, they, they like run, they like, they're like gun runners and, you know, anti drugs and they. Like need for community. speed, but with motorcycles. <laughs> except, except for, except for not shitty. <laughs> you mean like, you mean like, uh, what's 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 that? Not, not that Need for Speed. That, that always, yeah, I'm trying to think of the movie <laughs> Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah, it's like Fast and Furious, but not gay. But not gay. Except for Vin Diesel. <laughs> those Wait, last two, those last two movies are pretty cool. I liked them. Except for Vin Diesel, because he's a fag. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he takes out the bone. I don't want to hear it. Look it up online. Well, he, every movie he's ever been about. in, every pretty, movie he's ever pretty, been in, pretty sure he he's been the same the person in it. He acts this exactly the same in every movie he's That's been like in. That's like Vince Vaughn, though. Vin like, Diesel and Paul Vin Rudd. Diesel. Uh, exactly yeah. like, may I say, Jason Statham? Jason Statham, yeah. He's always the same guy in every movie. You're right. He even was the same guy in the... the Michael Sarah. Uh, Michael Sarah. I was just going to say that. I hate him. Well, he didn't he do <laughs> no? He did um he did one movie where he did something different, didn't he? He did uh maybe not. I don't know. One movie where he did something different. It was a. I it might, was more I, of a comedy. I think I know you're talking about. It was kind was, of a comical. No, nah, the one where he was, was was he a writer? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Ruby Sparks. Obviously, it didn't do very well. <laughs> uh, well, it was a very popular movie, but there was one like where like this nerd is a writer, and he was like a he was like a like like got his book published at like a ridiculously early age, and ends up going and like writing about this girl, and then she shows up, hmm. this, this girl that he's writing about, and becomes his girlfriend. Weird. And, and huh. then, like, he, finds and then he kicks her ass. Like, whatever. No, no. He finds oh. out whatever he types about her comes true. Like he go put his typewriter and he would type in like. And she spoke French, and then he walked back downstairs, and she was speaking French. And then, like, changed her shirt, like, went upstairs. <laughs> it sounds like shirt. a cool movie. It was a really bad. It's called Ruby Sparks. Check it out. Ruby Sparks. Ruby Sparks. I There's did a Will Ferrell movie that's like the same, like that too. Oh, um, that was the one where his life was getting narrated. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. That was a that was a dramatic movie. That was a really weird movie. Yeah, that him. was that was a. Really... I liked it. It was yeah. not I'll what tell I expected. You what I watched today that was awesome. Django Unchained. I want to see that. Movie. It, it looks was cool. So good. Yeah. It was so good. But dude, the last Tarantino dude. movie I saw was uh, Inglorious Bastards, and there was one scene I liked it, but there's one scene that was terrible. I don't know if this movie had it like what you were talking the Django Unchained one, but they just sat in this like dark bar and silence. Oh, you know, it was a long bar scene. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Well, that was it. Was intricate to the storyline. It was terrible. You can't just be like, "Well, we went to meet what's her name, and all these guys died." It pulled me right out of the movie. It pulled me right so Django out. Django didn't have to me. The Django didn't have one of those. It had a lot of those. It well, it, it had that definite. T- it, it's definitely a Tarantino movie. You know, it's a Tarantino movie. I saw but, that. The, yeah, the preview. I I noticed that. <laughs> I mean, it, it is. It, it's very. It's very much an Inglorious Bastard style. Um, because and Def, and what's his name's in it? The guy that's the the German. Oh, uh, J- 
Jamie Foxx and Leonardo DiCaprio, right? No, the Jew Hunter's in it. Um, from Inglorious Bastards. The same exact character, or like yeah, the same? Well, no, not like the Jew actor. Hunter, but the, the, the actor, yeah. Okay. Um, and he plays What's the German. Jimmy doing? I know who he's talking about, but I can't think of my name. <laughs> but anyway, he's in it. Leonardo DiCaprio's in it. Um, you know who else is really good that was in it was uh, Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Please, nice. such a What's he not good in? No, oh, snakes on a plane. Guys. We oh, gotta get these yeah, snakes off this horse. That. No, Samuel L. Jackson. No, he plays. He plays this old, like this old, this old slave for Leonardo DiCaprio. It's so funny, so funny. It looked cool, <laughs> but it is ten o'clock in time for us to leave. It is. It you is. You're absolutely right. Out of either schnitzel, folks. Yes. Like I said... Go watch The Hobbit, because The Hobbit's good, too. <laughs> I actually found all the Lord of the Rings movies I haven't seen. Someone left them here, because I, I was supposed to watch them, and I didn't. And so my all like, three? Yeah. My sister's like, yeah, i got to bring like, these back, like, and she never like, did. It's like all the, Star Tre- all the Star Trek movies you never saw, which you've never seen. Yes. Exactly. So. And there was like nine of those, ten of those. Well, actually, twelve, thirteen now. My, my next project is to get through all the Lord of the Rings movies. Are they the extended editions? I hope not. <laughs> I just uh, want to get <laughs> There's some really awesome parts in there. Like I was watching them like again, and there was like one scene where, uh, where Mary and Pippin are off with the treants, and they find the magical treant water that makes treants grow, and they start drinking it, and he and like Pippin like starts like dr- like like getting taller. It's awesome. I like anyway. I said, I have no I idea. Had so- to the rest of the movie. It does, because he's Pippin, and he's the greatest character in the movie. <laughs> all right. Well, we are done for now. Thank you all for listening. Remember... Time for second dinner. Time for second dinner. We <laughs> upload these every Tuesday. We record them every Monday. That's backwards, but I don't care. Uh, everythingnoob.com for all the show notes for everything we talked about this evening. And I will see everyone along with every... Wait. We will all see everyone. I'm tired. Next week. <laughs> Next Monday. Next week, not Thursday, right? Not Thursday. No more Thursdays. Not Thursday. Oh, yeah, every I Monday. Thursday memo. I same Thursday time, memo different day. Though. Which technically okay. still isn't the same time. That's not fair. But it is the same time, isn't it? <laughs> it's the same time. I'm just saying <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Thank you all for listening. <laughs> See you next week. Same bad time, same Adios. bad time. Adios. Bye, Jemmy. Bye. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for listening to this installment of the Everything Noob podcast. Don't miss a live recording of our podcast on twitch.tv slash enoobs, recorded every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. For information on everything you heard in tonight's show, visit everythingnoob.com and check out the show notes. There you will also find all of our past episodes, host bios, our Twitter feed, and a place to even ask us questions, which we may answer during the show. See you next week, and happy gaming.